George Clooney and his wife were kept waiting for 10 minutes outside Prince Harry and Meghan's wedding party last night Inquisitive police officers were seen chatting with the actor and Amal as they sat in the back of an Audi S5 outside Frogmore House, Windsor The actor was seen gesturing at a star-struck police officer as he gazed through a window at the celebrity couple The Clooney's had attended the royal wedding at St George's Chapel alongside a host of other celebrity guests, including Elton John and David Beckham But they had to wait 10 minutes before being allowed to drive through the gates of the 17th century mansion house which is just a stone's throw away from where the wedding ceremony was held Prince Harry and his new wife Meghan were able to let their hair down after arriving at the venue in an electric-powered silver-blue Jaguar E-Type 0 They were later joined by around 200 guests for an evening of privacy away from the cameras Arriving at the entrance to Frogmore, Harry leapt out of the dazzling motor to open the door for Meghan, who had changed into bespoke lily white high neck gown made of silk crepe designed by Stella McCartney. Meghan's hair was in a relaxed updo, and she tucked loose strands behind her ears amid the breeze as they headed to Frogmore House. Harry, who drove Meghan through the Windsor Great Park in the early evening sunshine, was dressed in black tie. Frogmore House, a 17th-century English country house, stands in the home park of Windsor Castle and is part of the Crown Estate Although it is no longer an occupied royal residence, Frogmore House is frequently used by the royal family for private entertaining The interior of Frogmore House is said to leave fascinating clues about the interests and talents of the generations of the royal family who have lived there over the years Queen Charlotte and her daughter's passions for art and botany are reflected throughout the house and works by the Duchess of Kent, who lived at Frogmore for almost 20 years, and those by her daughter Queen Victoria can be seen on display The 35-acre gardens at Frogmore House are one of its most enduring attractions. First laid out for Queen Charlotte in the 1790s, they are based on a model picturesque landscape 